morning, good morning. <laughs> it's Stacy from PeoriaLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click that little blue button right in there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? I'm back in Minnesota and I'm so happy. Okay, if you're watching this and you live in Utah, y'all don't love your life. I've seen the way you drive. Y'all don't stay in the lines. The lines don't seem to matter to you guys. And then uh, every single person there has to pull out to the right to make a left-hand turn. It's not a thing here. We don't have to do that. We can just turn. <laughs> of course, when I went on vacation, when I went to the tournament, I didn't extend my Etsy shop to, uh, <coughs> to five days and I made two sales. The first one was immediately when I got there. I landed, we landed and got into our hotel and I looked at my phone and it went order. And I was going, oh, are you freaking kidding me? So I contacted the buyer and I told her I wasn't gonna be home till Tuesday. And she's, she's like, no problem. No problem at all, it's a gift. She's sending it to somebody else. So I got that out and another one that came in, both of them for sugar bowls. I don't even understand. It's like a run on sugar bowls. So we got a run on sugar bowls. <laughs> one Virginia Rose, one Federalist Ironstone, both going out today. Gorgeous pieces, both of them. Landed at three o'clock this morning. Well, our flight was delayed. There was massive turbulence the entire time home. So we got like thrown around the plane. I don't like to fly, so this is not good for me. And then, uh, you know, if you've been following my Instagram or my Facebook, you know that our rental car, the very first day, had a flat tire. Like, we went to bed one night, and the next morning woke up and it was flat as a pancake. And then Thrifty Car Rental removes, removes the jacks so you can't change your own tire and wants to charge you $78 to come out and change the tire. I have AAA, luckily, because I called Thrifty thinking this is their problem, right? They'll just come out and they'll be like, oh, our bad, sorry. No, $78 for them to come out. We're not charging you to fix it, ma'am. We have to charge you for the service call. It's not my piece of crap car, right? So I called AAA and then, uh, We decided to go on a Moab, four hour drive from Utah, four hour drive back through the most gorgeous country you've ever seen. The only redeeming quality of Utah is the people were nice and the scenery was gorgeous. Like everyone we dealt with was super nice except at the airport. That's not true. The wait staff at the airport lounge was really super nice because I had to get bombed of my own. But, uh, Four hour drive over the mountains. We go through Nine Mile Canyon to see the ghost town that my daughter wanted to see. And we come out of Nine Mile Canyon and the sun's going down. And I'm like, maybe we can get over the mountain before dark. No. Pitch black. Pitch black. Because there's storm clouds. Yep on the down, downward swing of the mountain, the skies opened up because God hates me. <laughs> it's like, there is no other explanation than God hates me for that bloody storm and pitch dark on switchback roads through the mountains. <sighs> Lovely. Well, actually, as we're crossing to the mountains to come up, to come back, what slowed us down was the wind kicked up a salt storm. You know what a dust storm is, right? Imagine that in salt. 
salt storm. It looked like a blizzard of salt sandblasting the rental car. <laughs> so when it started to rain, I just said, God hates me. And my, my mother-in-law's like, you're doing really good. You're doing good. I'm like, yeah, we haven't dropped into a canyon yet. So I must be, can't see the road at all on switchback mountain trails. Huge plummets down the side. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> it's just, I don't mean to laugh. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh or you'll cry. Some of the most beautiful country you've ever seen though. Um, I just do not recommend trying to ford the mountains at night in a rainstorm. Nah, it wasn't cool. But we did it. We saw it. We lived it. It was good. We went up to Park City. Gorgeous there too. The mountains up there were stunning. It was stunning. It was a gorgeous day that day. Uh, we saw some snow and by the, you know, you, it's like 70 degrees in the canyon and it's snow in the mountains and it was just that part's magical. I hope everyone that lives in Utah walks out of their Target and goes, look at those mountains. Like every day. You guys should love your life. You, The view you have is a screensaver. And <laughs> you guys just hate your life because you drive like maniacs. Maniacs. Like we got on the freeway here coming home. And cars go by you. You know, you're just like, it's so calm. It's so freaking calm here. Like the entire state of Minnesota must be on Valium because it was so super duper calm. Anyway, I'm headed to the post office. I have to pull together this afternoon a ton of stuff from Junk Jot for Junk Jot Highway 61 Junk Jot is this week at um, Vintage Junkie. It's also Pick a Fence Gals this week. So yay, super duper busy week for me. Today's the only day I have to pull together stuff for Junk Jot, get that all ready to go to Vintage Junkie tomorrow, because Picket opens tomorrow, and I have the tour to do at 7 o'clock tonight. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I work. And then Vintage Junkie, I work Sunday. So literally the busiest week I've had in forever, ever, ever, is this week. And then hopefully next week I can just rest. My arm is killing me trying to get through the airport. Y'all, Utah airport, 10 out of 10, do not like. Got there and my daughter's on crutches and I've got all her bags and my bags. And I'm like, can we get an e-cart for her? Because she's, you know, handicapped and it's a long way to walk on crutches. We don't have e-carts. We have wheelchairs, but they're not here at the gate. So they have no wheelchair at the gate. So we start walking through the airport. Finally, it, she got so exhausted. I had her here and my mother-in-law sit down where I found a freaking wheelchair. I get to, I go to the information booth. We're in the, like where you leave baggage claim area. And I said to the guy, can, do you have a wheelchair? Can we get a wheelchair down here for her? And he goes, they're upstairs. And I'm standing there and I said, can you call them and ask them to send one down? No. Really? You can't call and see if someone could bring down a wheelchair? No. No? I have to like schlep up the stairs and get a freaking wheelchair. And then the girl goes, you want to just grab one? Sure. I'll, just, I'll grab one. No problem. <sighs> and thrifty car rental on the way back. Uh, we And when the tire went flat, we had a donut. They they don't have a full size spare. Just a donut that you can drive 70 full whole miles on. I'm like, no, I got a whole weekend ahead of me. So I bring the car back to thrifty rental. You bring it back. They don't have anybody that can handle this situation where you bring the car back, you gotta go back up into the terminal, wait in an 
hour and a half long line, I kid you not, to be told, you're the wrong line. It's that guy down there you gotta talk to. You mean the guy with the really super long line in front of him? And I turned around and I said, everybody waiting in line 10 out of 10 would not use the thrifty car rental again. Not ever. Not Hertz, thrifty or any uh, dollar. Nope, none of them. I won't use any of them ever again. It will be uh, enterprise or nothing. Enterprise or Uber. I'm not gonna deal with thrifty car rental ever again. I used um, the hopper to book it. They don't tell you who the car rental agency, uh, who the car rental company is before you book it. So I didn't know it was thrifty when I got it. Lesson learned. But here we are at the post office in North Branch because the post office in Stacy closes for lunch. Go bring these in, drop them off. Maybe hit a thrift store on the way back home. We're getting all the stuff ready for junk jaunt and doing that tour tonight. I am gonna stop and just see if there's any Tupperware at this family pathways in town. Oh, just because last time I had a really good luck. I had really good luck. Hang on. Why is that not working now? My clip's not working. One day I'm gonna find a clip. It works. It's, just, it's such a tall ask. I know this. I know it is. Found me some Tupperware that I know I paid up for. Uh, you know, there are days. There really are days. And then uh, they got more furniture in. So the pull for the, the um, sofa table is in the community tab on my channel. If you haven't yet voted on what you think they wanted to charge for that little number, I will tell you how much they wanted to charge for a tall boy or high boy. Tall boy. For a high boy, $175. And it was not in good shape. And all I'm thinking is, are you drinking? That's not good. And the table, by the way, is still sitting there. So go ahead and make your guesses. Uh, next week, I will uh, announce that the price was. How's that? You got a week to vote because I put it up in my community tab late. But yeah, no, not good pricing. Okay, I'm out of breath. These three bins are going to Vintage Junkie tomorrow. This table, the Afghan. I've got another table in Jeff's shop. I've got one I've got to put a, oh, that plant stand's going the light. I don't think I'm sending this quite yet. And then uh, I've got a stool. I've got to put a new cover on. Let me show you. These are the pieces that I picked from Picket Fence Gals. I need to wash the quilt so that I could get a tag on that. And then this piece. I think it's super cute. Oh, God. Okay, I got a spider on me. Hang on. Walk into a spider's web. I think it's cute except that fabric. So I bought some fur. White fur, gold tassel legs. I think that's going to be super cute. So I'm going to get that quickly stapled on and put back together. And then my husband said he finished the top on that other piece. So let's go look at it. Okay, I gave it a coat of white, but it looks kind of sad still. Let's see, where's the top? We did the top in a blue. He did the top. Looks nice. I like the blue. Very nice. It's going to look super cute on that. And that's going to. So that is how that's gonna look now. I like the blue, I really do. I really like the blue. Really wish the base was solid white, but it's not, and I don't have time to paint it, so it is what it is. I have this, so I'm going to actually Hit it with a coat of this. Maybe I can get it in the cracks and crevices and make it less orange. I am so disappointed, Ben. This stuff is dripping and spitting everywhere. It's a nightmare. It's a mess. 
Okay, we well, gotta get it done now. Okay, guys, I'm on my way to pick it. Like my new glasses from Zenny Optical. Yeah, I love them. I want them to sponsor the channel so bad, and they haven't, so you know what? It sucks, but they're great glasses. But anyway, I'm going to uh, go to Pickett, do the tour. I upholstered a stool. I didn't film it. It was just too much going on. It was just chaos and mayhem, I swear. I get through this week, I'm gonna feel really blessed. <laughs> it's just, I'm trying to focus on what's happening right now. Just right now. Too dark. It's too dark for me, Zenny. When I went into the mountains, I got super bad vertigo. I struggle with vertigo off and on anyway. But now that I'm home, it got bad again. Like I got used to the altitude and the vertigo and now it's bad again. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Just want to sleep. Tomorrow I've got to run all that stuff to Vintage Junkie or Junk John. I'm just gonna focus on this. So I got that stool done. I used that paint, it was nasty. It's everywhere. I will never buy that paint again. Come on, rust -Oleum. I might expect better from you than a really super drippy spray can. I don't like that at all. I mean, it was just literally running down the can and on my fingers. Um, not a lot of it got on the project. It got done, but it's, it's still really frustrating when your hands are full of paint. <laughs> it's like it's just raining down onto the ground. Not cool, rust -Oleum. not cool. <sighs> then I just gotta screw the top on that, and get everything priced and in the shop. When I get back, I will... What the nah. Now I have to bleep my video. Someone from Utah showed up on my road. I am so tired. We ran for five days and I'm just exhausted. I did do a uh, thrift haul on the last day, which I will try to run tomorrow for you guys because my Wednesday is going to be less than stellarly exciting because after I drop that stuff off, I'm doing nothing. Just because I'm going into um, pick a fence week I want to rest after I drop that stuff off in the morning so my evening and afternoon is going to be spent doing nothing just sit around stare at the wall do my laundry so I will run the uh, oh my god no you guys the road's closed Oh, and the fact that it's halfway up the bloody road. Been gone for a couple days. Kind of forgot the road is closed. U turn. That sign needs to be a lot further down the damn road. So I'll run the Utah Thrift Hall tomorrow. And then we'll see if I'll see how the rest of the week goes. I'm so just fried right now. I know this video is going to be scintillating, isn't it? Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.